You know, when Neil Diamond did the song September Morn, he spelled it M-O-R-N as in short for morning, not M-O-U-R-N as in, you know, sad for the dearly departed stuff. That's kind of what September's turned into, hasn't it? Greetings, one and all, and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. I uh, got a quick little kind of an unplanned video, well, planned at the last minute video. Um, kind of wasn't in the mood for it, uh, for reasons which I'll explain in a minute, but, uh, you know, I decided one of the things I kind of like to do, and especially the case with this video, is turn a bad thing, uh, make a good thing out of a bad thing, you know. Uh, the basis for this video actually is, uh, and one of the reasons why this video is being done is because of all the uh, passings and deaths that have happened recently. Uh, but I decided, you know, as I just said, I'll be darned if I'm gonna, if I'm not gonna try to, in some way, turn something bad, you know, make something good out of something bad, you know. Uh, like I said, uh, repeating myself here. But anyway, uh, yes, it just seems to have been. Uh, one death after another lately, and it's been on my mind. Otherwise, you know, even if these uh, recent passings hadn't happened, uh, one of the things I wanted to do with this video uh, is, and that was kind of the reason why I ultimately decided to do this video, is because I haven't mentioned the passings in the world of music that have happened over the last, oh, three or four months. I would do those at the beginning of my uh, playlist videos, which I haven't done in several months. So I wanted to do that, and uh, the, this is you know the music-related deaths uh, in the world. Uh, of, of course, there is the one non-music-related death that everybody is talking about, and that is Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, may she rest in peace, uh, monarch for 70 years in the UK. Uh, as people have said, the only monarch that the vast majority of the UK and Commonwealth population has ever known, which is kind of weird. Uh, but anyway... Uh, yes, she's she's gone, and so are several uh, uh, music luminaries, as I said, over the past uh, few months. And also, well, maybe I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, I will go over the music-related related deaths. I don't think I have mentioned any of these yet, because I cannot remember, remember when my last playlist video was or when I last mentioned recent mu music passings, but I thought I would go over them. Uh, Olivia Newton-John, of course, we lost her back on August 8th. A fantastic um, singer, songwriter, and actress. I, I don't know if she was a songwriter. Singer and actress uh, from Australia. She was, of course, most famous for her role in the movie, movie musical Grease. But uh, she is... Uh, there we go. She had a bunch of hit singles. Uh, and yeah, this, this... By the way, this compilation is awesome. If you want a primer on, on Olivia Newton-John, get that two-disc gold CD. Excellent. And uh, Lamont Dozier who was most famous as uh, part of the songwriting team of Holland Dozier Holland, the Motown, uh, the Motown songwriters, basically. Uh, there were others, but they were <clears throat> responsible for the vast majority of Motown hits. Uh, he passed away also on August 8th, same day as Olivia Newton-John. <clears throat> Pardon my voice here. And then um, Dan, oh, excuse me, Jim Seals, uh, half of Seals and Crofts, the great soft pop yacht rock, I guess some people, I, I don't care for that term, but uh, um, artists from the 70s. Uh, Summer Breeze was their uh, biggest hit, and let's see, there was, I thought there were a couple of other ones. Uh, I don't know their catalog really well. All I have of theirs is this greatest hit CD, but... Uh, Yes, uh, you, you can't turn on a 70s XM station or uh, internet radio station or a 70s terrestrial radio station without hearing Seals and Crofts hits from, from time to time. So uh, an inseparable part of 70s pop. And then uh, Alec John Such, he was a bassist for Bon Jovi from 1983 to 1994. Uh, I, was, I, I did not uh, realize he had passed until I read up uh, on my notes in preparation for this video. So... And then we have the uh, New Age 
musician and uh, uh, soundtrack composer as well, Vangelis. Uh, he was Greek, I believe, and most famous for Chariots of Fire, the uh, hit song. It actually became a radio hit, uh, the instrumental Chariots of Fire from the uh, movie from 1980, was it? As well as the score from the movie Blade Runner, the Harrison Ford film Blade Runner, and uh, several other soundtracks as well. So, uh, rest in peace, Vangelis, and all the other uh, musicians. And there's also... <clears throat> Another non-musician, but he it was uh, in the world of music, and I actually didn't realize he had passed until a few weeks after he had passed, but his name was Joel Whitburn, and he was basically the guru of the Billboard charts. Uh, he was not really the author, but more like the editor, since it's not prose, it's actually a reference book, of a lot of these Billboard um, chart uh, reference uh, books. I have a few of them. This is Top Pop Albums from 1955 to 2016. I have Top Pop Singles, which is also a ridiculously heavy hardcover, uh, which covers up through 2018. And I have a couple of others as well. But yes, uh, you look in uh, the music sections at uh, thrift stores in the books, uh, in the book sections at thrift stores, in the music-related books, you'll probably find some of his uh, books. He did books about uh, the top pop singles, top you know top 10 or top 100, and sometimes just the number one hit singles, albums, and from multiple genres. I mean, he basically knew everything there was to know about the Billboard charts and also uh, the Cashbox singles charts as well, uh, from their inceptions in the 60s all the way through uh, up until his passing. Uh, he This is just a ridiculous... Uh, ridiculously de de detailed reference book. I bought these back when I was uh, in doing my uh, backtracks videos and unfortunately decided uh, to stop doing them, at least for now. But yes, this shows... It's, it's too much to go into, really, but it shows uh, these artists' albums, their top chart positions, uh, the weeks that they were charted, uh, and uh, the date of their peak position as well as if they were went gold or platinum or whatever. I mean, yes, you can get all this stuff on Wikipedia, but uh, it's it's fun for me. It's fun to leaf through a book and look at this stuff because uh, I'm I'm kind of from the the pre-internet era. I'm I'm a pre-internet relic, so uh, I kind of like that stuff. But anyway, yes, Joel Whitburn, the the chart guru for Billboard. Um, he, he never worked exactly for Billboard, but I think he kind of contracted with them in a way, kind of indirectly worked with them in some capacity. Uh, it, it's on his Wikipedia page. Check it out if you want to. But uh, yeah, uh, rest in peace and Godspeed, Joel Whitburn and Olivia Newton-John and Vangelis and all of the artists that I just mentioned as well. And uh, yes, uh, even... Death has even uh, reached the, the non-human world. I mean, a very close friend of mine, uh, a, a non-human member of his family, passed away just about a week a week ago. Uh, one, one of their beloved fur babies passed away. So it's just, you, you kind of can't escape death uh, this month, and, and especially I can't because, uh, did I mention this before or not? I, if I did, I just briefly mentioned it. Uh, this week is the 10th anniversary of the passing of my sister Kim. And uh, the 10th anniversary has been a bit more difficult to get through than most of the other anniversaries. Uh, I won't go into great detail. Suffice to say that she and I bonded over music uh, during the last 10 to 15 years of her life. Uh, we, we attended several concerts together. I did a video a few years ago. Uh, I, think, I think I called it Kimmy's Kimmy's Hit Parade. Uh, I will put a link to it in my end screen at the end of this video, so it'll appear in one of the boxes up on, on that comes up on the screen. You can watch it that way. Uh, but yes, a, a big tribute to her. I inherited her CD collection about seven years ago. Has it been that long? Wow. Um, yeah, so, uh, so a few hundred of her CDs are now in my collection. I have uh, gotten to know and uh, be, uh, appreciated several artists and some genres. Uh, in more in more depth than I probably would have if I hadn't inherited her CDs. So yes, she has she uh, it has an ongoing influence on my music tastes, and uh, yeah, I, I know I don't know I'm not sure if I believe in all that afterlife stuff, but uh, I'm pretty sure that I will. You know, I I just know that I will eventually, 
hopefully not for a while, uh, be reunited with her and we'll be able to uh, sit down at a concert up there with, uh, you know, all the uh, music legends that are now gone off this earth, uh, like B.B. King. She absolutely loved B.B. King and his guitar work, and uh, I could go on and on, but anyway. And uh, in reference to uh, making lemon lemonade out of lemons, uh, with regard to my sister's passing, my dear friend, my little brother, Noah, God, I love that, I love that guy, uh, and, and his wife, Alyssa, uh, Noah knew this was coming up, and so he put together a little care package for me and sent it to me, and uh, he was going to include other stuff, but he uh, got distracted, just justifiably distracted, and so uh, this supposedly only has CDs in it, but I have not opened it yet, so uh, I wanted to do that, make an unboxing in this video. So, so yes, to end this video on a high note, on, a, on an up note, we're going to do a little unboxing here, so... Let's go ahead and pop this open. As I bring the knife dangerously close to my belly, I will try not to injure myself. <laughs> that would be an unwelcome addition to uh, this this week. Let's let's just say that. So anyway, pop the blade back in just like that, and let's take a look. And yes, I did. I did pop the. There we go. So let's take a look and see what is in here. I don't want I don't want to peek and risk seeing what's in here. Let's take a look. Removing the packing material. This might not be the best way to do it because uh, I might end up spilling, dropping CDs on me. The... Oh, they're all coming out. In, kind of in a bag. There we go. Bye bye box. Oh, there is a note in here. I will read the note later. I will take it out so I don't uh, end up throwing it away with the box. So. Okay. What do you know? It's a mystery CD grab bag. Just paper instead of plastic. Because that's what they mean when they say paper or plastic. Dumb book. Anyway. Okay, the first CD we have is... Mark Henderson and Lou Stant. I have never heard of either of these. A Rambler Soul. Uh, looks like it, uh, a country or possibly uh, Americana Roots Rock, maybe, possibly, kind of thing. I am always open to listening to just about anything. So I, I was going to say thank you, Noah, but I, I would end up saying that too f about for all of these CDs, so I will do a cumulative thank you at the end. How about that? Save uh, time on the video. And we have, oh, Gypsy Kings. I actually, I actually had this CD at one point. Was it in a grab bag or did I pick it up at, I can't remember, but yes, I have had this at one point, uh, but I will definitely have to listen to this again. Yeah, Gypsy Kings are a great, um, mostly Latin flavored uh, band. I don't know if I'd call them a rock band, but uh, they make some interesting music. I actually have a, greatest hits of theirs that I got from my aunt and uncle. So, And then what do we have here? Oh. Raisins in the Sun. Oh, a Rounder Records publication, or, or compilation, I guess you'd say. Hmm. Harvey Brooks, Jim Dickinson, Paul Q. Coldery, Chuck Prophet, Jewel Shear, Sean Slade, and Winston Watson. The only one of those that I have ever heard of is Chuck Prophet. So, it will be interesting to listen to this. Yeah. I'm getting a bonus grab bag uh, this year. Then we have, ah, yes, the Night at the Museum soundtrack. Uh, he had mentioned he had picked this up at some point, and uh, I expressed interest in it, so uh, he sent it to me. Still sealed. But yes, uh, Alan Silvestri, I have his Back to the Future film scores, and I pr probably have one or two more. Uh, movies that he did. So, yeah. Well, and an interesting a connection to Kim with the CD because uh, in with um, her CDs and a handful of, well, more than a handful of records, a lot of records, uh, there were some DVDs. And one of the DVDs was Night at the Museum. So I first saw that movie uh, as a result, you know, thanks to Kimmy. So there's a connection to Kimmy. And I don't know if I ever mentioned that to you, Noah. 
But, uh, and then the next CD in the package is... Oh, Kylie! I have never really given... Well, actually, maybe I have at some point given a listen to Kylie's music, but I don't know that I have ever really seriously checked out her stuff. I've kind of been wanting to for a while, so this is her self-titled... Oh, no, Fever is the name of the album. So, cool! And then there's... Oh, gosh. There's a few more in here. I have to weave through a plastic bag and onto actual CD. There are, what, four more left in here? One of them is a little... One of these uh, sleeve things. Shrimp City Slim. Highway 17. Low Country Blues Live. So, What the heck? Oh, so, oh that's the artist's name. is Shrimp City Slim. <laughs> Interesting name. So, cool. Some interesting stuff in here. And then the next one we have is... Oh, Sandra Bernhard. I have never checked out her... And I don't know if this is a music CD or a comedy CD, or possibly both. Because she is was mainly known, I think, as a uh, stand-up comedian. So... Definitely we'll listen to her. Uh, we watched Roseanne, the original version of Roseanne, and she was a infrequent guest star on there. She, she was always worth a laugh. So, yeah. Some very cool stuff in here. And what do we have here? <laughs> that liberal that liberal band. Okay. I can kind of get behind that. Uh, oh, they are, apparently they are from Kansas, because that is the uh, state outline that's on there. Oh, I guess this is a... Interesting. There are three sections. Uh, pep Band, Symphonic Wind Ensemble, and Jazz Ensemble. So it looks like an, uh, a band or possibly an instrumental album. Interesting. Hey, the title is good, good enough for me. That liberal band? Why not? And then we have... Oh, Dion Ferris. I think I actually have this one. Do I still have it? I, I can't tell from uh, the dis distance I am, but yes, I have, uh, I at least have had the CD before. I think I still have it, but yes, very, very good album. Uh, it's um, so kind of like uh, you could kind of, well, I don't know if justifiably, but you can kind of uh, equate her with um, maybe a bit of a harder edge Sade or uh, Tracy Chapman. Probably a little, little closer to Tracy Chapman. But, uh, yeah, very good artist. And then we have the last CD that I'm trying to get out from between the layers of plastic. We have Sash. Life Goes On. I'm uh, not sure who this is. She's got some guest artists on here, and I am having trouble reading their names. Featuring Shannon... Is that the Shannon from the 70s that did the song Let the Music Play? Or is it a different Shannon? I don't know. And there are a couple of other... Yeah, the print is very small on the back here uh, for the uh, featured artists. So it's like you can... Okay, if I hold it up like that, you could probably read it if you freeze frame. But yeah, I'm having trouble reading it. I'm getting to that age where I need a magnifying glass. But... Wow, that is a cool... Let me make sure there's nothing else in there. There's some plastic down the bottom, but uh, oh, nothing else in there. But yeah, gosh, this is... What, what is this, 10 CDs? 2, 4, 6, 8... Yeah, 10 CDs. Noah, you are awesome. Thank you. I, I, I don't expect to enjoy everything in here, but I am never afraid to give anything a try especially something that someone gifts me. They go to the trouble of gifting me things, and this was meant as a care package to cheer me up, and it has accomplished that goal 110%. So, uh, yes, this, this weekend is going to be uh, a little better. Don't know about the weather, though. There, uh, we're going to have some major winds, and it's going to be really, really dry and really, really hot. So they're talking about possibly shutting the power down uh, 
as a preventative measure to uh, avoid wi uh, wildfires starting. So I might uh, end up spending some of the weekend without power, who knows. Uh, so in which case I can always break out my uh, portable CD player and a pair of uh, AA batteries. So that might be what I have to do. But I will have plenty of CDs to do that with. Noah, thank you so much. Uh, and everybody out there, I hope you enjoyed this video. That'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comments section below. Also, scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds, and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and browse my past videos, and be sure to ring that notification bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.